Shalom, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Barasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahawa Karakadash, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. <laughs> hey man, vocab. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Let's play this. A few things. One is, I deny the, um, the primacy that they give to their identity doctrine. What I mean is, they want to make this claim about who they are uh, as if, if, if it's the, the most important thing. It's the golden goose. You know what I mean? With the gold nails. It is the, it is the most important thing. Because um, if, if you're not an Israelite, the scriptures don't apply to you. Period. You can't be of another nation and I'll pick up the scriptures and all of a sudden, oh, this applies to me. Oh, this is a blessing. No, the blessings apply to the Israelites, pursuant to uh, Romans in ninth chapter. Which is an identity, all right? The promises were given unto a particular seed of people. So, of course, that particular seed of people are going to feel like they hit the jackpot. Because as the scriptures say in Romans the ninth chapter, it's by it's not by the will of man, but by the will of the Most High. It's not of works. Okay, it was by election. All right, before Jacob and Esau was born, it was already ordained by the Most High that jo Jacob would be the chosen. So it is like winning the lottery. <laughs> hey, you didn't even have to buy a ticket. <laughs> Them ones there. Six, six or seven settings out here, dog. The adoption. The glory, the services of the Most High, the giving of the law, and the promises as a womb as concerning the flesh, the Messiah came. That's what it says. That's what it says. I deny, even if it was true, the importance or relevance to that fact. They don't like that because... So even if it's true, even if it's true that we're the Israelites, it's not relevant. <laughs> Dudes are hurt, man. Dudes are hurt, man. Goodness gracious. Even if it's true, it's not relevant if you're an Israelite or not. <laughs> so the covenant, that but basically what he's saying is the everlasting covenant the Lord made with the, the nation of Israel don't matter. The promises he made unto Abraham concerning his seed don't matter. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Ticket. They think they're Listen, we've won more than the lottery ticket. The lottery ticket, you could win the lottery ticket, and it's well known you can spend all that money and be broke in within a year. What we've hit is eternal blessings, man. Alright, what we've hit is a city which has been prepared since the foundation of the earth, an everlasting city, an everlasting inheritance. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, Jacob hit the jackpot, my man. This is Genesis 27. Our forefather Jacob hit the jackpot. All right, let's get it. This is the blessing. And, the, and Jacob received this blessing in the spirit. All right, because he was chosen. Genesis 27. <laughs> and 28. This is therefore... God give thee, God give thee the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth. That fatness, yeah? And plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. So that's the, the kingship. The scripture, he told um, Abraham that kings shall come of him. The kings is talking about are the Israelites because we're the kings over all the nations. Right, all the nations are to bow down unto us. That's our blessing. Talking about it's not relevant. Yeah, I hear. <laughs> it sounds like a pussy. Be Lord over thy brethren, right? So, even over Esau, because technically Esau is Jacob's brother, right? They hold the rest of the so called uh, Hebrew family, which really we're the Hebrew of Hebrews, but you could say there's other Hebrew nations, Hebrew Moabites. Hebrew um, Ammonites, all them other Hebrew nations and all the other nations have to bow down, yeah? 
Cursed be everyone that curseth thee. And that's why the nations are going into a thousand years of slavery. Is to fulfill that. Curse, if, curse be he who curseth us. And blessed be he that blesseth us. Alright. <laughs> and guess what? When, when, when Esau found out that Jacob hit the lottery. Esau was crying back then. He was hurt. He, he wanted to... He wanted to kill. Uh, hold on one second. Oh, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it, man. I started crying like a little girl back then. And that's what Volcab's doing. They hurt. Okay. Because cause the Most High chose us. And that's what we're, we, you know, the, if, you, if you really break down a lot in the scriptures, the Most High for, from the beginning was trying to show Israel that, like, look, I love you, man. You hit the lottery. I'm your God. <laughs> you playing games look man i'm the i'm the living power and i chose you so what's up with you man <laughs> all right so now we're we're um appreciating that and we're glorying in that and this dude's got a problem with that okay when we read the scriptures the, the israelites they never appreciated the lottery ticket the, they didn't appreciate that they won the lottery but now we do all right, <laughs> all right, Genesis 27 uh, and 32 says, And Isaac, his father, said unto him, well, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? Where is he that have taken venison and brought it me, and have eaten of all before thou camest, and have blessed him? And yea, and he shall be blessed. So it was, it was, the Lord confirmed it in the spirit. The Lord didn't. If the Lord wanted to, the Lord could have said, nah, like, you know, pull up that, you know. But he didn't. It, it was confirmed because it was it was supposed to be that way. It was set up in the spirit. Because that fool sold his birthright anyway. It wasn't meant for Esau. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father, bless me even me also, or my father. And, and, and uh, let me jump down, man, because I ain't really going to read about the consolation prize. Verse 41, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The day of mourning for my father are days of mourning for my father at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. So Esau was hurt back then, and he's still hurt today. Oh, but it's not my fault man okay all right this is um where was i second is just three was it 14 verse 13 it says now when they live so wickedly before thee thou didst choose thee a man from among them whose name was abraham him thou lovest so the lord loved abraham and unto him only shewest thy will so the will of the Most High was revealed in Abraham, his will to have a chosen people, man, and made us an everlasting covenant with him. Vocab, it's everlasting. It can never be disannulled. It can't be overturned or changed. That covenant he made with Abraham. And ear the one, your brethren, ear it, yeah, make it burn you. Promising him that thou wouldest never forsake his seed. So you're damn right. We, we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna rejoice in being israelites because the living power himself has made a covenant that he would never forsake us you prick all right and unto him thou gavest isaac and unto isaac also thou gavest jacob and esau as for jacob thou didst choose him to thee so you're right we're gonna we're gonna rejoice in that we're going to do the Jerusalem skank, yeah? And put by Esau. So Esau got put to the side just like the rest of the nations. They're not chosen. And so Jacob became a great multitude, all right? You joker, man. Hurt. Hurt because cause we, we, got, we got the juice, man. All right? But that don't mean that we don't have a, 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 st a standard. Even though... We are the chosen people of the Most High. The Most High still punished us with measure, man, for our, our, our iniquity. Yet the Lord's going to have mercy on us. And he's, he's going to uplift us to the right standard, which is perfection. 
Because that's what the Lord demands from us as being his chosen people. You know what comes with winning the lottery? Responsibility. Okay? And, and we're stepping up to that plate, man, in, in this ministry, which is in Yahweh Shai. That, that responsibility to do better. And you got a problem with that. Yeah, being an Israelite, it comes with, with a standard, man. Yahweh Shai said, be ye perfect, even as your father in heaven is perfect. So we understand these things. We're not spoiled. We understand that, yeah, the, the, the manifold blessings, but we all also understand very well the responsibility that comes with being an Israelite. And we, we strive to, to attain to that uh, perfection, which is in Yahweh Shai. So, you know, relax yourself. Okay, you ain't got to worry about that because you're, you're not Israelite anyway. So just keep celebrating Christmas till the missiles tear you up. Clown. Anyway, let me get Malachi. <laughs> Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob. That's why Esau never got the blessing. The Lord loved Jacob from the beginning. Before Jacob was even made, Jacob was made to be loved. And Esau was made to be hated. Simple as that. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Yeah. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, the Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. So how the hell are you going to tell us it don't, our identity as the Israelites don't matter? When you read multitudes of psalms the psalms are just bigging up um the most high and 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 um giving giving thanks that we are israel and we have we have the most high to our our power but our identity don't matter man what's wrong with you <laughs> do the hurt but anyway check this video out check the apostle Gabar's video out check the apostle Tahar's video out <laughs> beautiful edification man yeah you, you rejoice man when you find out you're an Israelite, that's a cause for, for great rejoice, man. Because good things are coming to our way. But, if I let me get a scripture. But, it's a straight gate to enter in. You know, we ain't just going to get it like that. Um, let me just pull it up. It's in Esdras. It's not 13. Yeah, this is second Ezra seven, just for good measure. Second Ezra seven, verse three. It says, "And I said, Speak on, my God." Then said he unto me, "The sea is set in a wide place that it might be deep and great, but put the case the entrance were narrow, and like a river." Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and rule it, rule it, rule? If he if he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the... <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That reminds me of um, the movie Shutters. When I think it was Crown, he said, yeah, um, no, it was, it was the other brother. He said, you think you could rule? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's you, Volker, man. You did think you could rule. Biggs, I gotta kill the crown. And we're gonna rule all territories. Yeah, so that's jokes, man. Yeah, that's you, man. You think you could rule. That's your problem. You Edomites, you thought you were gonna rule. But that that is reserved, man. That position, that VIP spot is reserved for Israel, man. Clowns. <laughs> Oh man, that's why we don't lose sleep over you. The scripture says, fret not because of evil doers. Like we, we sometimes, you know, we're in the flesh, so we might get we might get, you know, a bit of indignation now and again. But at the end of the day, man, we don't lose sleep over you idiots, man. Because we know that your end is dust. Simple as that, hundred percent. Alright? You're finished. 
guaranteed. Yeah? You could take that to the bank. If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? There is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water, and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once, that straight gate. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? And I said, It is so, Lord. Then said he, he unto me, Even so also is Israel's portion. And that's why the scripture says, Through not tribulation, so shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. The Lord didn't give it to us easy. Even though it's our destiny to receive it, the Lord never gave it to us easy. Even Yahweh himself had to be baptized, man, had to go through the fire, had to be, be, uh, um, be uh, chast, chast names, man. Had to go through tribulation. The Lord never made it an easy road. And that's that's in his power to do so. Never to, nevertheless, the destiny was sure. Alright? So, look man, we're going to glorify our Father in Heaven, man. And glorify him for, 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 um, for making us, man, who we are. Because it's him. He, he, didn't, he didn't have to make us Israelites. He didn't have to choose Israel. He didn't have to do. He could have choose all humanity. Okay? But he didn't. Okay? Right? He chose the nation of Israel. And we so happen to be Israelites, man. So, I mean, what can you do? <laughs> you can just be happy, man. So, <laughs> you, 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 you ain't, you know, you probably ain't one of us, man. I believe you're an Edomite, man. But, guess what, man? If it, if you, if it turned out you were, you were Israelite, man, and you get, you get smoked on this side and you come back in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to change your tune, man. You're going to be thanking Yahweh Hashem Yahweh daily that you're an Israelite, man. You're going to have the name of Yahshua Allah it etched into every garment, man. You joker. Anyway, with that, with that I'm going to say Yashallah.